What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a detailed gaming review of Lenovo Tab P11 Pro by playing few of the most high and heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting. We will also monitor the battery performance and whether we are going to face any hitting issue or not. So here we go. So these are the games we got here today on our Lenovo Tab P11 Pro. Right now the battery percentage is 91, the CPU temperature is 42 degrees Celsius and the battery temperature is 29. So this device comes with Snapdragon 730G processor, 6GB RAM, quad speakers and 11.5 inch 2K OLED display. So let's see how much all of these hardware specs are going to contribute in the gaming experience. So first of all let's start with Injustice 2. So the audio quality is really good and the graphics quality looks so nice as well. And it's very smooth. So there is no frame drop or lagging happening while playing Injustice 2 on Lenovo Tab P11 Pro and the three and the 3D graphics rendering is very nice as well. When the camera angle is changing, it's very small. So the gameplay was very smooth while playing Injustice 2 on Lenovo Tab P11 Pro. The graphics quality is good, the audio is especially very nice and the 3D graphics rendering was quite nice as well. So let's close this game and let's play the next one. But before that let's have a look on the battery status. So 90% and CPU is still at 41 and the battery temperature is increased a bit. It's at 33 degrees Celsius now. Now let's play Asphalt 9. So here in the graphics setting of Asphalt 9 you can see that we have selected the high graphics quality. And now let's play the game. So the graphics quality is looking good. Let's see how good is going to be the gameplay. So minor frame drop happened when I collided my car into another one.
and I came second I think yes but the gameplay was very smooth the graphics quality was nice no frame drops or lagging everything was super smooth while playing a sport 9 on Lenovo Tab P11 Pro. Let's close Asphalt 9 and now let's play Call of Duty Mobile. So here in the graphic setting of Call of Duty Mobile you can see by default high is selected for both graphics quality and frame rate and for the high graphics quality up to max frame rate is available but if I select the very high graphics quality and then select max then it's moving back to the high graphics quality so with very high i can only select the very high frame rate but since people prefer the maximum frame rate instead of getting the great quality graphics all the time i'm going to select the max graphics setting and the high graphics quality and same kind of settings we will use on pubg mobile as well but let's play the call of duty mobile first and let's see how good it's going to be so as you can see it's very smooth and the graphics quality is looking kind of good as well. Enemy contact. The lead. It's just that the device is so huge and playing it is a bit of task in itself as you can see here. So it's good for the games like as Fortnite and all. Uh, also for Injustice 2, but these kind of game like Call of Duty Mobile and I guess also for the PUBG Mobile where lots of action happens very quickly It's going to be a bit difficult to play And here I died. The spawn trap is kind of a funny mode on Call of Duty Mobile. But the good part is that there is no frame drops, no lagging and the gameplay is very smooth with good graphics quality. So I think it will take a bit of time in getting used to of the huge screen size of the device and once you are get used to you will be able to play all of these games smoothly without facing any issue. And here we go. So everything was nice and smooth as we have seen while playing Call of Duty Mobile on Lenovo Tab P11 Pro. The most important thing, the graphics quality was good and there was no frame drops or lagging. And as you can see here, if you have a look, very nice graphics quality. And from here, if we go to the home screen, then you can see the battery percentage moved to 87 CPU temperature is still 41 and the battery temperature is 36 degrees Celsius but still not too much to feel any heating issue. So now let's play PUBG Mobile. 
so here in the graphics setting of PUBG mobile you can see by default HD is selected for the graphics quality and high as the frame rate if I go to HDR I cannot select it so HD is the maximum graphics quality available for Lenovo Tab P11 Pro if I go to balanced then ultra frame rate is getting available same for the smooth so I'm going to select the balanced graphics quality and ultra frame rate to get the best performance out of these and now let's play the game so here you can see that the graphics quality is very nice especially if you have a look on the costume of the character the reflection of the light the details are so nice if you have a look on the shoulder pad here you can see how nicely the light is reflecting at different angle also if you have a look on the crown good amount of details we are getting on PUBG mobile here on this Lenovo Tab P11 Pro so slight frame drops are happening but let's see whether we are going to face this issue while playing the game or not here it's looking very smooth but when the plane was up in the air and people were jumping and the uh, the count that how many people are there in the uh, plane was changing then minor frame drop was happening and very bad actually playing this PUBG mobile but I just want to give you an idea about the gaming capability of the device so let's hope I survive for a bit and give you the idea about the gameplay so you can see that it's quite a smooth also when I'm changing the camera angles no frame drops or lagging is happening right now and the graphics quality seems good as well The gameplay is very smooth as you can see here. And here I am dead. As I said, I am pretty bad in playing PUBG Mobile. But I just wanted to give you an idea about the gaming capability of the device and hopefully you caught it. Uh, the display quality was good there was no frame drops no lagging and it felt quite nice so if you are a PUBG player you will enjoy the gameplay on Lenovo Tab P11 Pro here for sure and now let's go back from here and let's have a look on the battery first so the battery percentage moved to 86 so after nearly 25 minutes of gameplay continuously and nearly 30 32 minutes of video recording the battery percentage moved from 91 to 86 so this is a good point 
because you can have long sessions of gaming on this device because of the huge battery we got and talking about the heating issue CPU is still at 41 so let's just ignore it battery temperature is still at 36 degrees Celsius so it's not hot at all and not just in terms of number even while holding the device it's totally at normal temperature so if you are a gamer you will be happy with the performance of this device for sure pretty capable qualcomm snapdragon 730g processor one thing we are missing here is that it comes with only 60 hertz display so if you play any game that can go higher than 60 fps and even though the hardware is a bit capable of running those games you will never get more than 60 fps on this device other than that everything is very nice when you play high-end games on lenovo tab p11 pro so that's all for now friends thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed this then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and i will see you guys next time in an another video have a nice day